Hello everybody and welcome back to another Planet Zoo speed build. My name is Leaf and thank you so much for joining me again today. Now today we're taking a little break from Blackstone Zoo. We're taking a little break from modding. We're taking a little break from everything. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit different and go back to my roots and if you checked out like some of the first videos on my channel they were of some floating islands kind of like with the Nord Nordic theme uh, and if you check out some of the first videos on my channel uh, I started a series uh, a little while ago f called the Fjallland Islands and they were some floating islands based off of like Nordic culture and architecture and I only got two episodes in and as you can see the uh, two episode curse kind of stays persistent along with Blackstone Zoo right now I I'm trying my best I'm working out some new projects in the zoo but you guys will have to see soon enough what it will all come out to being um, right now I can't really finish anything just because I'm I get stumped like five minutes into a project but anyways, I just wanted to flex some creative juices while I still had them, so I started a new map on the uh, South America Tropical map, and I figured might as well try my hand at some more floating islands. I really like building these just because they're quick, they're easy, and um, they're really fun to uh, just mess around with like animal pathing and stuff like that. And as you can see right here, I'm just working on like the general layout of it. I went around the whole island with some null barriers in order to like make sure that we don't have any escaped animal quote unquote um, notifications popping up just because they do get kind of annoying. Uh, and so I basically just have those uh, guidelines just floating over there. So even if I do build a little bit further off the island, which I eventually end up doing, uh, the lemurs in this case won't be counted as escaped. And it really helps to give a lot more verticality to the floating islands themselves, because I like not only just using the top of the island, but the bottom as well. And because of that, I actually also added a sort of uh, pond with a invisible bottom. And I cover it up with a little bit of, uh, I like to call it magical ice, and some glass. So when you're underneath the island itself, you can look up, and you can see the water just sitting right there. I found uh, Paul's Lee's tutorial on that very helpful, as well as Best in Slot. Those two are doing marvelous work with tutorials and such like that. And going through this build, you can just see me adding a lot more foliage. I will admit I used a little bit too much foliage in this. I used like a heavy amount of diverse foliage and it's something that I'm trying to hold back myself on, but just for this build I figured why not just give it a, give it my all. Plus I ended up using a lot more of the uh, aquatic pack foliage which I haven't really used yet. I mean like some of the stuff in there like the lipstick palms are like insanely insanely beautiful and especially in a tropical environment I think they look absolutely swell and I just went ahead and pre-adopted all the lemurs and in this case I will be using Nicholas Line Riders um, not only his black ruffed lemur but his sloths as well um, as of late I've been trying to get a lot more into modding, as you guys might have seen in my last video for the uh, James's Flamingo Showcase. Uh, I think it's a marvelous thing that the community is doing as of late. Uh, being someone who came from Zoo Tycoon 2 and a lot more of those uh, theme park builders from back in the day, modding was essentially what kept the community alive after the... Uh, support of the game kind of just died off from the devs and I figured might as well just get into it early right now start learning a lot more of the uh, inner mechanisms of it and just trying to get a lot better at it I think it's kind of a fun hobby to have on the side after uh, building these like extravagant builds and stuff just because I don't know at the end of the day 
you're all that's left in the game are the animals and I don't know if you can add some more animals in it then you totally should um, that tangent aside um, I'm using some of Wyatt's uh, realistic climbing structures all around the island um, I kind of started as you saw before trying to make my own all across the island kind of allowing the lemurs to be able to traverse over all the dense foliage and stuff but I kind of gave up on that halfway through and figured these look 10 times better than what I could ever create. So going underneath the island right now, here you see me using a lot more of the ice pieces and basically just framing the pond, the pond bottom at least, um, a lot better. And I just, I've been fiddling with this idea for like about a month now. And I certainly will be trying to do a couple more speed builds kind of like this. Um, it's honestly really fun to make these and like some of the things that you can come up with for floating islands just can be really inspirational. I know a lot of the community is basically, well at least the Bro Nation community, <laughs> is against these more fantasy builds, but I mean... I love doing realistic builds and fantasy builds, and it's really fun to just, I don't know, if I get bored of, let's just say, Blackstone Zoo, it's these projects that honestly, like, uh, I can always come back to the fantasy builds and have something always waiting for me. So, going back to Blackstone Zoo. Now, unfortunately, like I said before, progress is kind of halted until I get a little bit more inspiration. I started with the South America trail and section of the zoo with the uh, Caribbean house and I got a decent way through it but the problem is just making sure like all the small details are exactly how I want them and for that build I just want to make sure that you know no stone is left unturned. I want to make sure that this is something I can look back and be proud of. And going off of that, I also started the Australia Birdhouse. And it's, I can't really describe it right now without giving too much away, but it's big. It's really unique. And I just really can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, but that all aside, going back to the more fantasy build right here. Uh, I'm just working on the bottom of the build itself right now, so I'm trying to work a lot more with suspended sort of ruins. And here I did something like a, uh, kind of like a circular temple, and I basically just dress it up with a lot more moss and stuff like that right now. And in the end, I hang it up with some vines. And all the lemurs can traverse towards it. And all the lemurs can traverse towards it and rest under there. And I think it comes out looking pretty swell. I mean, I feel like the key point of this build itself will be the grand tower that I ripped from uh, my other attempts at a speed build for floating islands in the past. But um, I just liked it so much that I just wanted to bring it into this one just because, I don't know, I feel good about this one. Then again, I said that about Okavango Zoo. I said that about the fall. I said that about the Fjallland Islands, and I also said that about Blackstone Zoo. So we'll see where this project lands. But um, maybe I should really just start doing one-off builds. I, I don't know. I. It's hard to stick with some of these builds, but I'm I'm certainly trying for you guys. I love these projects and. I just want to make sure you guys love them too. So going down below, I start to add a couple more ladders and I start to fiddle a lot with the uh, traversable area of the lemurs. So in other news, I want to talk to you guys about some mods I've been creating. Now um, I know mods are a bit of a controversy within the community right now. And, you know, I can kind of understand that, I mean, terms and service and whatnot, but to be quite honest, the modding community is getting really robust, and some of the stuff that's been putting out is some top-notch stuff. 
Uh, just recently, even myself, I made six mods already, and I never really saw myself getting into this. But, um, yeah, I did a ribbon seal, which came out pretty nice, just as, like, a nice quick lunch break mod. Um, I worked on the alligator snapping turtle for quite a bit. Uh, the Caribbean Flamingo was a suggestion brought up by the wonderful Linda. And how could I not pass up on that beauty? Uh, and how could I not pass up on that beauty of a bird, you know? I also did the banana slug as a way to uh, kind of breach my way into exhibit animals and just kind of test those out. And the very latest one that I did was the uh, tropical terrain replacement where I... um. You know, it's been brought up in the community trying to uh, replace some terrain textures and bring in, trying to replace some terrain textures and bring up some new ones. And so I just wanted to bring some more life into the tropical environment. So I replaced the normal kind of brownish, grayish sand from the tropical terrain. And I replaced it with the bright red or orange uh, Oceania desert sand. And I think it came off looking pretty well. I'm going to have, like, a nice big showcase of all the mods that I've created thus far coming up on the channel pretty soon. Um, I just want to get a couple more out there before I actually do that and have, like, a nice big sort of end of the month January update video on all of those. So keep on the lookout for that. But anyways, we're just getting into the last parts of the video, and I just wanted to thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this whole shebang. Um, again, I'm really sorry that I haven't been putting too many videos out there recently. Uh, it's... I can't even blame this on anything but myself. I just haven't really been, you know, that inspired. I haven't really felt the, uh... I don't know, haven't really felt the drive to create another video, but... Uh, I've been working pretty hard in the background with some mods and uh, some other builds, so I hope you guys take a nice look at those. And more importantly, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, if you guys like the video, you know I gotta shill it out. Just make sure to like, comment, maybe even subscribe if you want to see more. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this. And I really do appreciate all of you, so I hope you all have wonderful days. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and take care, my friends.